So we're talking in this Rooted series out of Psalm chapter 1, and it starts out with the blessed is the man who doesn't walk in step with the wicked, stand in the path that sinners take or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on it he meditates day and night. I just want to quick unpack this. As we look at it, we recognize who we walk with really matters. You begin to take on the mannerisms of those you walk with. In the Christian faith, we are called to walk closely with Christ, and we recognize that he should have the preeminent influence over our lives. He's the one who is influencing us to become more like him through the Holy Spirit. But also, one of the primary means is through his word, through scripture. So what we want to do is understand if we have influences from this world in our life, you can judge those influences by the restless nature that they have. The restless nature of, as it said in Psalm 1, uh, don't, who doesn't walk in step with the wicked. The wicked is those apart from God. And the wicked are those who um, don't see God as Lord and don't, um, don't recognize uh, his direction. They're unsettled. They're restless. They're fickle. And um, you can look at your life and really say, you know, is there a restlessness there? Is there this fickle, quick-changing nature? Is, is my life being influenced by the world. Am I in step with those apart from God? That's what wicked means, to be apart from God. Because we know that the the blessed person is the one who walks in step with God and he delights in the, or the person delights in the law of the Lord, which means this, the law of the Lord can be said in this way. It is um, instruction and the counsel of God through scripture, period. That's what we talk about with the law of the Lord. The whole of scripture, all of scripture can be sum- summarized in that. The instruction and the counsel of God through scripture. So we look at that and we say that is what we're supposed to be walking with. To know better who Christ is, no matter what God's heart is. And to meditate on that is to literally, I want you to think with me. And we talked about it on Sunday. I want you to think with me of what it's like when something's weighing heavily on you. And you're like, well, sorry. And you kind of mutter to yourself about it. That is meditating on it. That should be the thing we do with the word of God. It should constantly be on our mind, drawing us back to him. How does God see this living in towards that? So for me, my question for you is really, how does, what does spending time with God look like for you? So make sure you're in that word, not just devotions, but in the word. And do you know, um, do you know God by reading his word? That's an important thing. Know him through reading his word. You can start by doing that with the devotions, and we talked about that, but make sure, foundrychurch.net, go get the devotions off there. Get into the word of God. That's the challenge of this message. We're going to be back at you with some questions in just a second, but remember, your high calling in life is to know God, and one of his primary means of revealing himself is through scripture. Have you ever found yourself walking like one of your parents? Or um, if you have kids, let me ask this, which one of your parents? Talk with your group, like share, like if you're a dude and you're like, I walk like my mom, I think it'd be funny for your group to know that. Um, Also, if you have kids, uh, take a minute and watch them how they walk. See if you notice them picking up on any traits from you. What is the most difficult decision that you've had to make lately? Mine is cheeseburger or bacon cheeseburger. What's your usual method for making a big decision? How do you process it and get to the point of decision? So what's the biggest influences on your life? What are the things that are influencing you? How do you spend time with God? Take some time and unpack that. Your leader has some follow-up questions. There's some meat to this one. This is where you get good accountability in your life to kind of open up. It's okay if you haven't been spending good time with God. It's not okay to keep doing that. So really take the time talk with your group and answer this question. How do you spend time with God? Do you agree or disagree that reading a book by a Christian author, though it's good, um, 
It is not the same as reading the Word of God, Scripture. Is there a time in your life where the Word of God was like a sword, defending you from the enemy, or like bread, the very thing that sustains you? I, I think that question's really good, um, and we need to look at it a little, because Paul, the Apostle Paul, writes of Scripture and says, it's the sword of the Spirit, like Scripture is a sword. It is an active, offensive weapon. And have you ever been able to defend yourself against temptation using Scripture, much like Jesus did when he said, it is written? Um, and also there's times where Jesus speaks of scripture as the bread of life, the thing that sustains you. Have you ever been in a situation where the word of God was just like, um, it gave you strength? Uh, I remember a really difficult time in my life where I just hung on every word in scripture. Um, and I long for those days. I just don't long for the circumstances that got me there. They were really hard times, but looking back, it was very precious. Um, has the word of God ever been that sword or that bread for you?